Hi everyone, it's Cheryl with the Craft Nut 32 and I just wanted to share with you a mini. And this mini is a gift for my sister. I've made it for her as a surprise. We're going to go visit her tomorrow. So I wanted to film this video so I can upload it and share it with you before I give it to her. And this one was a lot of fun to make. Um, I've made it a little while ago and I just finished decorating it the other day. And the cover is what kind of stumped me. Normally I don't decorate a cover, but I wanted to for her and I just was thinking about how I wanted to do it. So I started off by using a doily and I sprayed it with some Perfect Pearl and the Pearl Shimmer. So it's all really uh, really pretty and shimmery. And this is just a doily from the dollar store. It's nothing special. I then created some flowers using Flower Shop and I inked the edges of them. I sprayed them with water. I dried them with my heat tool. And oh, before that I crinkled them all up and then I dried them. And it came out with this really nice stiff texture. Um, I love how they turned out. Lots of nice definition. Um, lots of nice things to look at. The leaves are also from Flower Shop and then the butterflies are from a Martha Stewart punch. And I got a punch with butterflies so I was really excited. So um, into the cover it's just blank. This first page um, I've created a little pocket and I've made a little journaling spot. A Martha Stewart punch with uh, some flower punch and this paper is a classic K paper from K and Company. I've used it in the past for a previous journal or scrapbook mini that I've made and it's really beautiful and I love using it because I can know I know I can go and get more so um, I love creating things with this. So in this page here I have created a little tag and this tag is on the smaller side it is three and a half by six and a half but I couldn't get it any bigger to slide in and out easily. Whenever I did something a little bit bigger, it just was getting stuck going in. The pages here are um, four and a half by seven. So the tag is considerably smaller. So I was kinda, kinda disappointed about that, but just I'm happy they had a tag. This little um, pull tag is from the Cricut cartridge from my kitchen. So I've created all of the tags with that. When I turn the page, the stamps are from a gratitude um, journal stamp set from Paper Tray Ink. And the stamp says, it's the little things that matter most. And this is just an empty little pocket she can fill up. Here is a cute little butterfly, a regular envelope. And the tag, this one's kind of stiff. I've used um, the Simple Life Paper Tray Ink stamp set. Kind of gave it like a nice little decoration there at the bottom. And on the back, again, from the Gratitude Journal stamp set, so blessed because. So a nice little spot, or a nice little spot for her to journal. And this, I really like um, this little tag here. It's not a tag, it's a pullout for a dual photo mat. So she can, she has two children, um, a daughter and a son. So she can go ahead and layer, or um, put a photo of each of them, or however she wants it, but there's two here which I liked and again from the same same stamp set thankful for you so she can journal and um, just have a spot to write down the memories so and here a nice big photo opportunity here another tag it's the same three and a half by six and a half and that one is a little stiff so that's why they all had to be I don't think I um, left enough room on the edge of my paper with my glue. I only used ATG gun, so it's kind of wider enough I didn't stay near the edge. It would have kind of cut down on the space. Here is another photo mat. Nothing stamped on the inside. Two little butterflies. I perhaps should have inked around them. They're kind of getting lost pattern on pattern. Here is some nice little banners, some spots for her to, to put titles or dates or anything she wants. And this, I love, it is a slider photo mat. So she could put a photo and a photo in a journaling spot. And then again, a photo, a photo, and another journaling spot. I um, was watching some videos, and there just seems to be a lot right now with sliders. So I wanted to make one. So I googled on, not googled, but I did a search on YouTube. So that's where you can find that. Some more paper tray ink stamps. It says dreams or wishes you, your heart makes. Another tag. Ugh, 
and this one's stiff as well. <laughs> but this one has a lot going on. And then I've also added a little pull-out photo mat there. So that one just slides in and out nicely. And this little banner lifts up so she can put her photo underneath it and it goes above um, the little stamp down here. And she has a paper trimmer so she can trim away if she wants to, but if she doesn't want to, they all will fit without having to trim it. And then I just did one tag. She can slide other photos behind it and cut down the one she wants. There is a pull-out tag here, and this one goes in and out really nicely. So flip it over, another pull-out photo mat, dual photo mat, and on the back I stamp so very grateful for. And I don't know if everyone does this, but when I use my um, journaling spots, I usually write down like little moments of happiness or things I'm grateful for. I try to write down dates and if it wasn't just my family names of who else was in the photos. So that's why I thought I wanted to use that stamp set, the gratitude journal stamp set. This Life is Sweet is from the Life is Sweet stamp set. And then another little one on the back here. That it will never come again is what makes life so sweet. So I thought that was really nice. And this is just a regular envelope that I cut and I sealed and then I put paper on the back for a journaling spot and just a little treasure stamp. And here another pull out dual photo mat, blank on the back side. And so I don't know if everyone's noticed, I haven't pointed it out yet, but I've inked everything with brown or pink. So I've created equal browns and pinks for my niece and my nephew. So that way I tried to create it green and pink. So that way my nephew wouldn't really care if he has his photos on green pages. My niece loves pink and purple, so I kind of did that with her in mind. I created the photo mats with cream, so they're nice and neutral, but also I didn't want to cover up the beautiful paper. So that way she's putting some pictures on it, but you could still appreciate a lot of the design in the paper. And then this is just um, just bigger than a 4 by 6 photo, so it will be an eighth of an inch larger, and so will the mat. So it will frame it perfectly. And so I thought that would just be something I would do this time, and everything will kind of go nicely together. So here is my last page, another pull-out tag, and that one is a little stiff too. I have created a dual photo mat that just slides nicely into the corner pocket, and up here is another tag with a journaling spot, and that will just slide right on the top there. And then for my last page I left it blank but it is a paper bag so she can pop in little trinkets from her kids, little invitations or keepsakes, that kind of thing, and a nice big journaling spot on the back for dates. And just the same paper as the front cover. So this was my mini. I had a lot of fun creating it. I've really enjoyed making minis lately and I hope she likes it. I I hope everyone's having a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye.